softer side of things, EQ, emotional intelligence, the humanness of this all, because if it's not going to move us forward, if it's not going to move humanity forward, then it probably is a little pointless. So let's start with you, Simon. So AI, why are we even bothering? Why are we making the effort for AI? Why, why should this even be something concerning us? Because well, there's a couple of reasons in my mind. The, the first is we are sitting today at about 7.6 billion people on this planet. We, uh, depending on whose uh, science you look at, we typically exhaust the natural carrying capacity of our planet by somewhere around the middle of the year. Um, and we're, co we're heading towards 11 billion people. We have to get a lot smarter about how we use every single resource on this planet, the water, the air, the people, and everything else. And the problems are so complex and so fast moving that we don't necessarily have the wherewithal in the human brain to process the data fast enough at a scale we need to do it. So that's one, one answer for artificial intelligence. The other answer is that um, SAP's purpose is to help the world run better and improve people's lives. And a lot of people's lives are not particularly happy, especially in the working environment. And we think we can take some of the drudge work they do and get machines to do that so we can unlock real human potential. Okay, well, interestingly, there, I, I, I thought I'd have a, a, a much more focused view on just technology. So uh, that's quite interesting that you've raised the human side of things or, or, or the effort that it should be, should be improving that. So moving on to you, Steph, when I first engaged you and we spoke about you know, doing this episode, I was surprised that you were quite keen on artificial intelligence. I thought you'd be a per I thought you'd be closer to the the, the the side of the scale of, you know, the the apocalypse is coming, we need to stay away, but you seem to have embraced it and I'm curious and interested and intrigued to know why. I think one of the most important reasons why is that since the Industrial Revolution, that what the Industrial Revolution did to human beings is enslave human beings. So with that enslavement, we have a lot of people who hate their Mondays to Fridays. That I think statistics that you were using, Simon, in terms of the 13% only of people are engaged in their, in their jobs. And that's a very small number considering of how many people are employed today. So we prefer our jobs, for example, to when we used to work on the production line, um, because many people are now using their brains, but not to the degree that we need to. And if we look at what artificial intelligence can do for us, it can take the drudgery out of the work that human beings are doing. And it can get that drudgery work done far more efficiently and far faster than human beings will ever do it. It will also notice error if there are human errors, whether those errors are purposeful or not. If we see people, for example, trying to crook the books, that artificial intelligence will pick it up without then allowing somebody to persuade the machine, will we doing this because it's a bit under, you know, and we're trying to, and, and so the mm. machines will do a far more honest job, as it were, but they'll do a far more <laughs> mundane job than they than the human beings will do. One of the things that I read recently was the difficulty of trying to teach artificial intelligence common, common sense. Well, if we can find out how to teach artificial intelligence common sense, maybe we could also instill it in some human mm. beings. Then. But if we look at the what artificial intelligence is doing, the t there's a lot of talk about hyperhuman skills, so emotional intelligence being one of those, creativity being another. How do we engage with each other as human beings? I think it's going to allow us to bring out more of our humanity. We're so busy trying to actually earn our, our daily bread, as it were, that, that most people have forgotten how to live. And I do believe that artificial intelligence, by taking that drudgery away, will allow us to truly live as human beings rather than just exist.